And Leslie called one day saying someone had taken her identity and accused her of doing things that she hadn't done. Lane's only sister, Leslie, was disabled and Lane took care of her. It turned out that someone had used her identification in a fraudulent activity saying that she was a tattoo artist and she was no longer able to be in business. Leslie was not a tattoo artist. Well, this couldn't be true. Unfortunately, Leslie couldn't leave the city where we lived. She had such limited use of her hands and, and no use of her legs. Joseph Harvey and Anya Cannell Harvey, a husband wife team of con artists, had stolen Leslie's identity and filed a false claim that her business had been closed by the BP oil spill. As a caregiver, let me tell you, it is uh, stressful for the people uh, from whom you're taking care of. Their, their lives are very difficult lives anywhere, and they're fragile people. And then to have this beast of burden on their shoulders is really, really hard. Postal inspectors say Harvey and Cannell were serial storm chasers. They were chasing storms throughout the country. Anytime there was a storm and some type of uh, federally funded program established, they would basically attack that program. Following the BP oil spill, the two scammers stole the identities of 115 people and filed false claims worth $700,000. Inspectors have an idea where they got the names. Possibly a hospital, a clinic, because there was some um, a, a linkage between a lot of the victims that seemed to have visited hospitals uh, throughout the, 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 that, that, time, that time period. As for the $700,000? The two basically supported a lavish lifestyle of, um, they drove Bentleys, they drove uh, Mercedes Benz, they had yachts, uh, a 47 uh, foot uh, cruiser, they had uh, another, a, a little smaller one. Um, they had uh, mansions, rental mansions. The takeaway from this case, do everything you can to protect your personal information. You know, growing up, we learned the only thing you really have is your good name. And now a criminal has taken it. Um, I'm just really, really wanting to get the word out.